Welcome to this short presentation of the BuildSoft Takeoff 2 software. I have preloaded a PDF drawing into our viewport for measure and I've also imported a bill of quantities directly from the global estimating system. To begin our takeoff, we select an item and then we choose a result type for that item using the drop down menu for the result column. As you can see, we can measure areas, lineal lengths, volumes, vertical areas, counts, and even enter notes for ourselves in our estimate. For this particular item, I will choose area, which gives me a square meter result. And then what I can do is I can nominate a color on how I would like to mark up our drawing. We do that by using the format section on our ribbon, where we can hit the drop down menus to choose our color type, our fill style, our line style, and our line pattern. So for this particular item I'll nominate a green colour and I'll nominate a transparent type fill pattern. Using in the viewport, using our standard uh, roller wall wheel, what we can do is we can zoom in by rolling our wheel forward and zoom out by rolling it back. And if we click and hold our wheel, we're able to pan our drawing around our viewport to use it necessarily. As you wish to do a takeoff, what we do is we choose our normal thing, we choose a result type at the top where we can choose a polyline, we can pick lines directly from the drawing, rectangle, ellipse, single line options, and we can even nominate and enter text on our drawing for comments that we might want to leave for colleagues. Using a standard polyline, I'll zoom up on the section I want to begin with, and using the cursor, I place the item close to the item and it will give me a snap function to the corner. And I can then literally snap to the points of the item, which is completing our takeoff for us. As you can see, this particular item is actually a curved area, so it's got a curved section on it, and that is simple with BT2. What we do is we go through the curved section, and before we do, holding down our left mouse button, that allows us to adjust our curve to the desired location. And we just release our left mouse button then to finish that curve section. And then we can complete the rest of our takeoff for the area. So using the snap function, and as you can see, very simply, I can just mark the area of it. And when I finish, I join the last point back to my first and that picks off the color we chose as our fill pattern and our fill style but it will also nominate in our estimate the total quantity based on the scale we've already preset and as you can see it will also insert that item as part of the calc sheet for that item now if there was other areas of the same type we would just mark them as, sim as similar and that would build up our calc sheet giving us the overall quantity for the item